will learn how to assign and remove a license to a user or uh, do the same activity for multiple users so let's log into the office account for that we can just type in office.com hit enter then it will ask you to enter your username and the password so i was already logged in that's why it is showing up my name i just click on sign in and uh, i will have to enter my password the password is already remembered by the browser so it's already filled up okay so i am now into my office 365 account this is my administrator account i just navigate to admin tile okay i clicked on the admin tile this or else uh, you can also click on this nine dots here you can click on admin it will navigate you to the same page which is this one so this is the office 365 admin center from where you can manage all of your user licenses all of, you can also access your uh, uh, admin centers and you can do much more things in here so in today's video we'll look into the license part okay so for there are uh, multiple ways through which we can assign license and remove license so the very first part is users i'll navigate to users i'll go to active users so in active users so in the video last video we have seen how to create a licensed user and an unlicensed user so uh, to the last video we created some unlicensed user so we'll be assigning some license to that uh, to those users okay so let's do that let's find an unlicensed user so this uh, Heyman the enterprise is an unlicensed user you can see okay so firstly i'll assign the license to this particular one user i'll click select this user i will go to the right of the screen okay three dots and i click on this manage product license i can just click on this then it will open up the user section wherein i can go to this license and applications i will select the user plan that i want this microsoft 365 e developer plan i want to assign this okay i can assign this so the license will be assigned to this particular user now on top of that suppose you want to assign the license to this user but you want that apart from exchange or sharepoint or teams the user won't be able to see anything so what we can do is we can just unselect all of this and just give the required permission required license like exchange plan 2 will give this exchange okay and we will give this user microsoft teams okay and uh, we will also give this office for the web so that you can this user can use office applications like powerpoint or word excel like this okay we also want power apps for this user power pa pro and the multiple licenses which i can assign okay shape and on plan plan two so once you are done with the assignation of the license okay you can just save the changes so the license will be assigned but this time the license is a custom license we, because we have removed some applications uh, access in the license okay so this is the license part for one user now suppose you have multiple users and you want to assign the license to uh, those users so i'll show you how it uh, happens okay so let's refresh it let's look uh, into this license first okay so we assign the license to heyman the enterprise so we can just check it if that has happened or not okay Hemant, so you see Hemant Enterprises now it has E5 license. Previously it was unlicensed, but now this user has licensed. Okay, so now let's do the same activity for uh, multiple users. Okay, so let's look for some unlicensed user. 
okay here i have but these okay this unlicensed user this skelly shepherd is an unlicensed user or uh, okay i do not see many users are unlicensed okay no problem let's uh, let's remove the license okay for some users then let's select this test one this user has some uh, a license to it let's select this rahul test this has also a license to it okay and likewise let's select this honey user this has a, a license to it okay and this one as well the seventh enterprises okay selected this is selected this this elena and this is also selected bungaru so these have some license assigned to it okay i can just click on this i click on this manage product license so right, right now what we are doing is we are removing the license for uh these nine users okay so what i do what i need to do is i just need to click on assign like assign unassign all so when i click on unassign all so whatever the license they have okay it will be removed so i can just click on unassign all and save changes okay so it is now loading and i'll just pause the video till it loads okay it loaded successfully now you can see that these many users are unlicensed so the license which they had it's now been removed okay so let's click on done so the licensed is now removed for uh, this elena user this ganga the ready govin and naveen Pangaru, these are all unlicensed users. Now we have seen one part wherein the license has been unassigned. Okay, now we'll give them a license. We'll see how to give them license. Select this, this, okay. Uh, this list will uh, go for these four users for now. Click on this three dots again. Let's click on manage product license. Okay. Now, before assigning a license to these users, let me show you also uh, the first option, replace and assign more, okay? So, uh, firstly, let's assign the license to these users. I select this Microsoft 365E double -E -E 5 developer license, okay? I've assigned the license to these four users, E5, okay? and let's wait for the loading to be finished okay so the loading is finished and i could see that uh, these four, four users have uh, e5 license now i click on done okay so now bungaru this elena shepherd another ready now they have all e5 license so i'll select this users again i click on this Drops again click on manage product license now uh, what i want is that these users okay they had e5 i want that uh, these users should have for uh, uh, let's say power automate free okay uh, they use I, I want that this should be removed from them and this power automate free should be assigned to them so i click on replace okay and i click on save changes so what it will do that it will remove the existing license and it will now assign the new license which i have uh, uh, asked this uh, center uh, admin center to assign okay so it's done now you can see that the new license is uh, naveen has power automate free okay these have these have all have uh, power automate free okay. previously they had a uh, 5 now they have uh, microsoft power automate free license okay so this is how you uh, replace the existing license so suppose now i want uh, to add more licenses to them so i just select the user i click on manage product license again i click on assign more and i click on this e5 and save changes so once the changes are saved this user will have more licenses assigned to them now they will have microsoft power automate free and they will also have e5 license assigned to them as well okay 
okay now it's done now you can see that they have e5 license assigned to them right now let's click on done the page will refresh automatically and if you want to verify you can just check it uh, by opening one user let's open this Pangaru user and we'll navigate to licenses and applications okay let's go to license add application part so now you can see this this user has e5 and microsoft power automatic free as well okay so this is how you assign license uh, or unassigned license or add more license or replace the license from this active user section Okay, and if you want to do a, for a particular user, select the uh, the desired user for, and then click on uh, this uh, dots again and manage product license. This is how you do it. And for multiple users, you can just select the users uh, and click on the uh, dot once again and click on manage product license. Okay, so this is how you do it from the user section. Now let's look into the other area, which is the billing part so we'll go to billing and then we'll go to license so in the license part uh, we'll be able to see how much licenses i have and what type of licenses i have in my kitty so right now you can see that i have a developer license and i, I have four licenses available 21 is already assigned to uh, people and i have four as license assigned to them so what i can do is suppose i want uh, this particular license to be assigned to some users I can just open it. I can come up here. Okay, these are uh, all the uh, users which have uh, this license uh, assigned to them. They get this Alina, and there are so many users who have uh, license assigned to them. Okay, but I do not see there is one user which is Skelly. I do not see it. So what I can do is, I just click on assign license and i put the desired username skelly shepherd okay i select that user and i will click on assign all right but uh, remember this uh, this has a time limit of i mean this has a user limit of 20. only 20 user can be added uh, in this uh, uh, window okay in this selection area so this is uh, a limitation to this. I click on assign and it will, the license will be assigned. Okay. And there is one more thing that you can assign, unassign the license through the same manner. I'll just quickly show you once it uh, gets saved. So it's saved now. You can see that uh, the user has a new license assigned to this. Okay. I do not want uh, any email to be sent. I can just simply close this okay and now you can see that skelly is showing up here this this means that the user has now a license assigned and likewise if you want to unassign this particular license to some users what you can do is just select the users let's say select this select this select this this these four users i want to unassign license from uh, these accounts I select the user, I click on unassign un license and the license will be gone from for uh, these users, these uh, four users, okay. So it's on our, uh, and in the banner itself is saying uh, unassigning four licenses. Once it is done, the users will be gone from this list, okay. So you can see the Pangaru, Elena, they, they are gone. I cannot see them okay so this is how you assign or unassign license from uh, these two areas the active users and the billing part and also you can do the same thing uh, on multiple uh, licenses you can just open any license select the user license uh, and assign the license okay and uh, this is it for today's video i hope you like the video in case uh, you have any doubts so leave your doubts in the comments and uh, till then happy learning goodbye